Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kowei, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? We're watching Dairy Girls, episode one. Thanks so much for joining us. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, you'll see a cut-down version of our reaction because we can only show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Jabby Kowei, or become a member of this channel where you get access to the whole full uncut reaction, but you will need your own copy of the show. We are watching this through Netflix, so you can, you know, have your own Netflix subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a 3 2 one countdown sync and it'll be like you're watching with two of your favorite pals from the internet. Now, if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us. We really appreciate y'all. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, vote this up. All right, here we go. <laughs> Get through it fast. Now, you know nothing about Dairy Girls, correct? Not yeah, a thing. Yeah, I, neither do I. There's another girls from, uh, that have a dairy issue? I'm probably saying dairy wrong, by the way, because Achara was correcting me the other day. She's like, it's not dairy, it's dairy. I don't hear a difference. That sounds the same yeah. what you just said. I, no, I know, that's a joke. No, it's dairy, dairy, dairy girls, as opposed to dairy, dairy girls, dairy, dairy girls. Everybody knows everybody, knows everything about everybody. Sometimes all I really want is to be simply left alone. Is that my dairy? <laughs> <laughs> that is horrifying. Teenagers have rights now, you know. Don't be ridiculous. I have nothing against Protestants. I'm all for integration, I am. But if they're letting their wains divorce them, Macaulay Cogan isn't a Protestant man. Are you gonna get <laughs> I don't care where you met him. You're not to see him again, understood? Fine. Look at this, the bomb of the bridge, apparently. I love that the dad is just like, not saying anything. You should be driving them, you useless shit. I have to work, Joe. Work? <laughs> is that what you call it? Yes. Why don't you just leave my Mary alone? Because we've been married for 17 years, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> We're in love with each other. Oh, fuck. I found some dirt in you yet, boy. I've got people working on it. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not enjoying this bond. Shocking. Desperate. Disgusting and disgraceful. I have an appointment in Tropicana at 12. <laughs> Oh. They want ordinary people to suffer. This is what it's all about. I'm pretty sure interfering with their sunbed sessions isn't very high up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think you're playing at? Where's your blazer? I'm not wearing my blazer. End of story. Pass me the wooden spoon. Oh my uh, god! We were going to be individuals this year. Look, I wanted to be clear, but my mom wouldn't let me. Well, I'm not being an individual on my own. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting anything? Sure, aren't I doing this fast for Ethiopia? Well, for Christ's sake, what is it with you in Africa? Will you sponsor me? <laughs> Happening over there is really lousy, Aaron. Father Conway showed us a video, and there's this one wee fella, Kamal, every morning. He walks 25 miles in the year's well. Does he just really enjoy whales, eh? Does he really just enjoy whales? Stop slagging off, Kamal. Kamal doesn't have it easy. Will you sponsor me or not? Fine. Touch them, you buy them. I don't think that is the law. If I say it's the law, it's the law, smart hole. It's just I can't afford them anymore. I have to give all my money to Kamal. Who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sponsor me, Dennis? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> like that name, Dennis's Wee Shop. Oh my god. David. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have you got a light? Me? No, I don't smoke. Why the hell do I not smoke? I have one. I don't smoke. Oh my god. Cool poster. Oh, well, do you think so? Yeah. Thanks. You should come along tonight. You're inviting me to your gig? Yeah, well, all of you. But you'd specifically like me to go with me. Oh god. But uh, in Murder She Wrote's on tonight, you never miss Murder She Wrote. Shut up. Okay, wait. Yeah, it kicks off at six. Sweet. Go. Maybe I'll see you there then. Claire, it's called again. And I have to go invite me specifically. <laughs> Watched this film last night. My dad got it off Pirate Pauling. And it's about these three lads and they wear these crackers just and they rock about just shooting people and eating cheeseburgers and they're all this. Or that. Oh, Harold and 
Is no, no? no? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. I, I was thinking um, Jay and Silent Bob. Hi, I'm Michelle's cousin, James. Why is he making that funny noise? He's English, Ola. That's the way they talk. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about me and Kathy. She went to England years ago to have an abortion, never came back. Never got the abortion either. Look at you, James, eh? Huh? <laughs> Kathy's just got divorced, so she's moved back. The husband caught her doing the dirt on him. She's a bit of a goer, sorry, Kathy. Riding rings around him, so she was. Isn't that right, James? No, I mean, here, dog. <laughs> I carried your weights, motherfucker. <laughs> I got all these dope songs in here. All right, shift your short holes. Let's go. Nobody move. You better do as I say, or or what? We'll beat you up. What? Beat me up? Well, not now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll meet you after school, and you can God. beat me up. I'll bring my sister, Mandy. Big Mandy's your sister. That's right. I think there's been a wee bit of a misunderstanding. Thought you might say that. Now f*** off. <laughs> How long does this fast last? 24 hours. So I still have... 23 hours. Almost 23 hours. <laughs> God damn, can you imagine? Wow. But do you think if I told him I had an incendiary device on my knickers, he'd have a look? You're a moist. That's what you are. <laughs> I have a feeling that uh, other girl's big sister's gonna see her after school. It's come to my attention that there was some sort of an incident on the bus this morning. Apparently, you guys threatened one of the new girls. I mean, we said it, but it's a joke. As in, we're gonna beat you up, but like, in a jokey way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not actually funny, is it? I don't want to report you guys. Please don't report us, Jenny. Please, we'll do anything, anything at all. I think I'll just have to mull it over. Ach, Jenny, mull this over. Oh, we'll see. Michelle's not afraid to speak her mind. Please. Do you think Big Mandy looks more schizo than usual? But try to think of it this way. Right now, you're like a little seed. <laughs> School is like the soil. A safe and stable environment within which you can grow. Oh my god. Wow, what a great way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Some lovely sentiments there. Some very beautiful words. Oh, Catholic school. I'd like to introduce James McGuire. Show yourself, please, James. James! will be the first ever boy to study here. There were serious concerns for his safety because, well, unfortunately, James happens to be English. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Mr. Mullen affair? Student teacher. Two fourth years cable tied him to the monkey bars and started dry riding him. He was really good looking, so you have nothing to worry about. Oh, oh God, God, that's God. mean. <laughs> that's so mean. They look nice. I can't call me at home. Are they nice? Bring Bobby sounds. Sure, how can I go? I'm so weak, I can barely walk. I love my wee fingers. Come on, Michelle. I'm begging you. It's my big chance with David. I do for you. Fine. But we both know you're just going to sit in the corner like a frigid... <laughs> <laughs> you never even kiss the boy before. You practice on your pillow sometimes, but you don't think that's the same. The reading of the diary is bad enough. I could do without the quoting it from memory. <laughs> <laughs> Following pupils, please report to Sister Michael's office immediately. Erin Quinn, Orna McCool, Claire Devlin, Michelle Mallon, and the wee English fella. Thank you. <laughs> the wee English fella. Yes, okay, I was there. I admit that, but I didn't do anything. It was Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone deserves to get punished, it should be Michelle. Well, I think it's safe to say we all just lost a bit of respect for you there, Claire. <laughs> Look, I didn't even report them. I'm not a grass. I'm saying nothing. Is that because you're intimidated by them? <gasps> oh, you're serious? <laughs> if I ever get wind of something like this happening again. Oh, you won't, sister. Now, I think you all owe Tina an apology, mm -hmm. don't you? We're very sorry, very Tina. Sorry, Tina. Sorry, sorry, Tina. Sorry, Tina. Sorry. <laughs> I don't accept it. Well, I need to draw a line under this somehow, so... Oh. What did he do? He didn't do anything. None he got them, roped into this. None of them did anything except for uh, the main girl. Uh, yeah, the Michelle, boy. right? Yeah. Orla, 
That better not be what I think it is. You better not have brought my diary to school. I had to. Oh, God. What's going on there, girl? She has my diary, sister, and she won't give it back. I'll take that. Oh, my God. I should have access to a lavatory. What about my civil rights? Corner. What? I feel like he's going to go to the restroom in the corner. Really? What am I going to do, Erin? That color's been discontinued. <laughs> oh, look. I'm taking my lipstick back. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, that's disgusting. Stop it. That's English for you fucking savages. <laughs> but will you ever get yourself respect back, Claire? Right? If I leave now, I might still catch David. It's funny how she sleeps with her eyes away, though. Oh, my God. Oh. <gasps> In God's name. Did you kill that wee nun, girls? Of course. Not. Sorry, I'm late, sister. Couldn't get over the bridge, this bomb. What are you playing at? Rifling through a dead nun's handbag. She stole my lipstick, mommy. Don't lie. How long does it take to defuse a f bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Sister Declan's death was extremely shocking and unexpected. As I said on the phone, the circumstances in which I found her body were strange, to say the least. So <sighs> I've decided to carry out a full investigation into the incident. What? The woman was almost 98 years of age. She had a heart attack. Why is everybody going absolutely mental? <laughs> She's still reading her diary. We didn't do anything. It's not fair. But the thing is, life isn't fair. You see, injustice is something I have become accustomed to. She's still quoting her diary? The path to peace is paved with tolerance and understanding. Oh, she's reading it out loud. It's never the answer. I am going to ram that so far up your <laughs> <laughs> I am enjoying this so, so much. This is so fun. I had no idea that I would enjoy it this much. This was recommended to me by a fan of this channel, actually, who I got to, to meet up with in Spain. And she's like, you need to watch this show. And I was like, all right, it doesn't sound like my speed, but I'll check it out. This first episode was quite strong for me. Like from the from the word go, it's had me like giggling. It's interesting because things that are uh, comedy focused, oftentimes I feel like an outsider where like I'm not laughing as much as you know other people might enjoy it. It's very rare that I have something I can connect with with other people. Friends is one of the few shows where it's like, oh, a lot of people like this. I like it too. And I can laugh with everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know what it is, man. Like the, the way the, the, the expressions in their faces, the way they jab at each other, how mean they can be to each other, and the, the sarcasm. There's a lot going on. And they all feel very um, well carved out as individuals from one another where I don't remember their names, but like I know their personalities immediately. Like each of them. They're so well defined. As of this moment, I'm on board for the remaining seasons already. Like, yeah. this is this looks like a lot of fun and characters that I'd want to spend time I with. I think I remember some of their names. There's Michelle, there's Jenny, there's James. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I got a couple, uh, that, uh, but I'm going to get them down soon, all of them. Yeah, no, I, I was pleasantly surprised at the first episode. It's uh, The humor was great, and uh, I just, I love the rapport and the interactions between all the main characters. They're just, again, the way they, they, they get on each other was just, it was hysterical. And, uh, you know, you said friends was your it was the show that you can relate to the most uh, I, I watched a few episodes here and there but for me the show growing up for me was boy meets world okay uh, that was that was my favorite and that Which is I could, high school based yeah so yeah. uh that's you know that kind of uh, you know that's my favorite type of uh you know sitcom comedy show but yeah no i was i was really loving the humor in this and just again i, I really like all the comedy uh so far in this and i really like uh, james he's just he's such a standout from the rest of them right. and they <laughs> my favorite is just when michelle is getting on him like every Every, everything mm -hmm. he says, she's always like, I, I don't give up. There's a lot of good humor. Uh, and yeah, no, I'm, I'm really liking it so far. And I'm looking forward to more episodes. The music is also an interesting choice. I guess it's kind of ro just rooting it in terms of the era in which the story takes place. I mean, they came out the gate with Cranberries. Uh, the Cranberries. It was used at the end of Mission Impossible. It was a scene with Tom Cruise and Ving Rhames when they're at the cafe. In a freak accident, a helicopter lost altitude. 
I used to be on the radio all the time when I was a kid. That song and Zombies are the two songs I know from them. I don't know any of their other tracks, but I just remember when my dad brought, bought the Cranberries. I played that song that they had in the intro to death. I bought, I played it over and over. And I distinctly remember being at uh, Amoeba, the music place in Hollywood, and listening to the Mission Impossible soundtrack. And I was like, hold on, the Cranberries song is wrong. They don't have the outro to the song because only people who've heard the song are going to know what I'm talking about. The radio version of the song cuts out the last 45 seconds mm -hmm. because they're this whole kind of, I don't know if it's like a Irish thing, but there's like this whole uh, just vocal thing that they're doing without any of the instrumental for 40 seconds after the end of the song. That's not in the Mission Impossible version of the CD. There was that and there was something else. They had the Pulp Fiction songs. Pulp yeah. Fiction came out in like 90... 94. 90... Was it 94? Pulp Fiction was okay. 94, Mission Impossible 1 was 96. Okay, gotcha. So, so in 90, 1994, you have Pulp Fiction, so that kind of gives us a, a sense as to when this might be taking place. It's, I guess, early 90s. So I really like the, the character, even though she was only in a couple scenes. I like that character, Tina, the, the girl that was saying, I do not accept their apology. I thought she was really witty, and I, I liked her humor a lot as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Hopefully, I know she's not going to be like a huge presence on the show, or she possibly might she might be, she but might be. I really enjoy it. Like, her character really stood out to me as well. So I, re I really like the, the the two scenes that she was in. The way they went about introducing us to everybody, I think, was perfect. It was very efficient. Within the first several minutes, you knew who everybody was and who you could probably relate to. And I think that maybe you can relate to a little bit of each of them. But you, you knew exactly what you felt like. And the, uh, that, that moment when she sees the guy, and she's like, okay, everybody act natural. And she tries to act natural, but it's so bad. Comedy chops on all of these young people is amazing. The girl who had to eat, Real bad. Jenny. She's like, yeah. She's like, oh, I have to, I have to fast for another twenty three hours. Her faces, her, her, her expressions are the best. Like when there was a conflict happening with the short girl, uh, with Tina, at the back of the bus, and her. Like her anxiety just kicking in up to a 10. The expression on her face was amazing. Like every time they cut to her just for a, a, a reaction. The editing is great too. That's the most underrated thing I think when it comes to this kind of stuff is like you need a good editor to hit those good beats and the timing of the comedy so you can elicit the ha-has perfectly, right? I think that they have a great editor for this show. Across the board, like acting, directing, editing is I'm just, I'm really appreciating this. And to a certain degree, it also kind of takes me back to Catholic school. I went to Catholic school from first to eighth grade. I hated it so much. All Awful memories. And so, in a way, it's like half triggering, but half hilarious because I get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't relate at all to Catholic school, but uh, I will live vicariously through <laughs> you uh, when I watch this. But yeah, no, I agree with you that they, they really do have the acting chops and the comedic chops as well. But uh, it's also for me as well, it's the delivery. Yeah. You know, it's the, totally. on, on all these lines because like you can have, you know, the expressions, but if you don't have the delivery that goes along with it, it's just, it's not going to hit the same payoff. So yeah. yeah, no, I agree with you though. Very talented team here. You guys, Thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Peace out.